Hi guys, my name is Sharon Machete and I have been living with HIV for almost 28 years now. Even though I found out at the age of 20 while I was still a virgin. Um, that was in 2014 when I found out. But currently the good news is I've recovered from AIDS because by then my CD4 count was lower than 100 so I had AIDS. And today I can proudly say that I'm a mother of two HIV negative baby boys and a partner that's also HIV negative. You find myself telling people that, okay, no, my kids are HIV negative and so is my partner. And be like, ha, ah, Ganjani. Like, it's still like, it's a myth. It's like something that people don't believe. But hence, I'm here to tell you that if you're looking for love, Bona, it's possible. Don't let your HIV positive status be like a stumbling block from you to getting love. And the truth is, they always love you the way you actually love yourself. But in today's video, I'm going to actually be talking about HIV and okay, job hunting while you're HIV positive. Should you put in your HIV positive status on your CV or should you disclose during an interview or at your workplace after you've got the job? Or is it really necessary to disclose your HIV positive status at work? Disclosing your HIV positive status at work, um, uh... I actually think that it's none of their business. I mean, like, uh, a job, it's not like Mjolo, whereby you are, you know, you are, you're actually regulated by the law to disclose. Uh, but anyway, uh, in that saying, guys, here's the thing. I feel like, I personally feel like it's also goes in hand in hand with which kind of job are you actually applying for. Some jobs, they would have like, you know, um, a form whereby you will have to disclose. But if that is not there, guys, I, I, I don't think it's necessary. Personally, I don't think it's necessary for you to disclose your HIV positive status. Because, okay, here's an example. Now, when I was in grade 12, I wanted to go into the military. And that time, I didn't know about my HIV positive status. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually at that point of time where I'm like, what if I actually did apply for the military, um, to go into military? That means right there and then I would have found out that I'm HIV positive and I was not going to qualify. You see what I'm trying to say? You can't go into military or maybe is it some department into military when, like, when you're HIV positive? Well, the truth is, I personally don't think it's really necessary to disclose your HIV positive status uh, at a workplace. But then you might be in a position, there might be three scenarios, cases where you might have to disclose. The first one, it might be that when you're required to disclose your HIV positive status by that employer. Um, and the second one, it might be that, let's say maybe you're at work and you were injured, you were like involved in an accident and one of your colleagues wants to actually assist, that's the part where you can actually, you know, uh, disclose just so you can actually protect the next person. Um, and the last one, it might be that whereby yourself, you feel that um, at this working environment, there are high chances that um, you might actually get injured or there might be like some sort of an accident or something whereby you can actually tell the people around you in confident that you're trying to protect them but you're trying to you know make sure that uh, even if something were to happen they would actually you know be cautious but then the truth is according to me the reason why i say it's not necessary beside those three scenarios here's the reason i've actually i was doing hiv and ambassading and hiv ambassading uh in 2019 and I was called into a workplace. I'm talking about old people. They called me. They're like, no, there's a lady. She's HIV positive. Her colleagues know. And she's been called names around the corridors. And, you know, she's been treated uh, in a bad way. Here's a matter of a fact. Uh, stigma and discrimination against us people with living with HIV is actually still exists. It's actually high. If you disclose and and you find that there are high chances that you will be discriminated, you will be stigmatized. So in order to avoid that and, you know, maintain your peace of mind is to actually keep it to yourself because it's really not necessary. Hence, I've already given the example of that lady whereby they had to call all the colleagues of that department. I had like, you know, a sort of like a a seminar where I was educating them and telling them that, okay, you know, she might be HIV positive just because you guys have touched the same the same cup or drink water from the same class doesn't mean that you'll be infected. And sadly, I was talking, I'm talking about educated and old people. I'm not saying don't disclose, 
but disclose if you yourself have uh, you know have actually come into realization with your with your with your status I, I normally tell people that you know disclosing is a choice né? and in order for you to not be affected or you know affected by the stigmatization and what people say that you can be able to take whatever that comes your way in terms of stigmatization you need to be at peace you need to have accepted your new truth you so here's the thing I always tell people and I emphasize this I don't know whether I can emphasize this harder enough is that um, the way you disclose your HIV positive status and the way you conduct yourself in terms of your new reality is how people are gonna treat you. So now when I come to people, I tell them, "Bra, born and I can already my teeth." You know, it becomes hard for somebody to go, "Yo, what, what?" And I look so glamorous. So pff, why would somebody think? You know, so that's all that I'm trying to say. Disclose if. When at heart, yourself at heart, you are at peace. So, but then nevertheless, guys, I just came to give you this bit of information. I hope you find it useful. And if you want to hear more about, you know, the HIV journey, how to live with it, how to disclose, you know, how to love yourself uh, enough with your HIV positive status and how to be happy and live a happy, positive life, go to my YouTube channel. It's Sharon Macheta. Hands up already said. The link is down the description box follow me on my instagram at simply shazzy i'm also on tiktok at simply shazzy even on facebook is at simply shazzy the truth is what i'm trying to do is to create a family whereby we we, we we become comfortable in talking to each other and we can help each other in solving these hiv related issues you can inbox me we can talk openly so because the truth is no matter how much HIV is known and, you know, it's out in the open, the journey is just not easy, guys. I've been there. I know how painful it is. So, nevertheless, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye.